guys and girls, welcome back to YYC Designs Custom RC Creations. I am, of course, Twist. We are working on the Miss Moose Project 116 scale 70 ton rotator replica with a cab of a 1939 Diamond T truck. Um, of course, it's a semi truck. Um, I'm trying to remember. The, I'm trying to remember the name of the truck. It's a it's a diamond T, but I, I think it's a a W69. Um, we are looking at the civilian version, which could have been Diamond T's 966. I will get the name and put it at the bottom of the screen for you, so that y'all can go have a look at the real truck if you want to. Anyway, the truck is. Like I say, a 116 scale. It's a full metal build. And last time we stopped, I had just gotten the frame done and a good chunk, a good chunk of the cab done. And we've continued on from there. Now I have got the hood and about 90% of the front grille all formed out, welded on, and mocked up for you here to look at. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so here she is. I know it's mocked up on my vice, and I do apologize for that. I just didn't have any other way to, to mock it up so that you all could have a good look at her and see how the truck is going to look in real life. Setting her on her frame wouldn't have worked out because I needed something in here kind of to hold her up. Um, reason is, I haven't got the doors made, and that's where we're going next, is we're going to make the doors for the truck. Of course, they will be fully functional. They will open and close. Uh, the side hood panels here where the engine is, I'm going to leave open, but I do have to add on another piece down here along the side of the grill on both sides, and uh, that will finish out the, the, the rad support and the grill. And of course, there will be a hood emblem that goes right in this area here. I've got the uh, the rad support and the hood all formed out with uh, with the body lines in her. Obviously, it's curved, so I'm going to have to cut out along the cab here. And then, of course, where these X's are will be the windows, the left and right windshield pillar, and the center pillar for the windows because it had two windows. It wasn't a single windshield in them. And uh, then we will continue on and put a small sleeper on the truck and then of course the big back box of the wrecker so this is how far I've gotten so far and uh, I'm gonna start making the doors and the side rad support pieces and get those welded on we'll see just how far we get here today creep while you and me repeat this bittersweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating kryptonite desires doors are all laid out one left one right these doors I'm going to do a little differently than I did on the voodoo project there will be no internal frame on these doors and that is to keep weight down so I am going to be putting these on the metal brake and giving them a uh, one quarter inch lip all the way around and that way the door will be its own support and we will probably be using magnets to hold them closed. We'll see. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. But uh, yeah, I'll get them cut out and then it's onto the metal brake with them and we will start doing the forming, yeah? So let's move on to that now. Alrighty, so there's the doors made now. The left and right door, however you want to look at them. Maybe I guess they're backwards on camera. <clears throat> Sorry about that. There, we'll do it that way. Go left and right so it's actually on your left and your right. Anyway, doors are done and they fit the cab rather well it's kind of difficult to try and show you right now but you all will see them when they're mounted anyway the doors are the same as the cab they're made out of a 22 gauge steel and as you can tell by the back side just bent on the metal brake 
some of it, the curves, done by hand, yeah. So easy stuff to do, just takes time. And so both doors are made. All we got now is to cut out and form the pieces for the left and right rad support and get those welded on. And that'll be the cab and then we can go to work on the sleeper of this truck. All right, back to the mock-up for you. As you can see, we've got the grill pan, uh, the uh, rad support side all sorted out. The hood is on the way it is supposed to be. Those engine compartments where you see that little tin can inside will be left open. There, of course, will be a frame rail going along there. But I am going to leave it as an exposed motor. Of course, I have to cut a center grill out of the section here where this X is and as well as the two front windows. But this is basically moose as she will be. There will also be a uh, window cut out of the door. I gotta apologize, <laughs> I got the hiccups again. That always seems to happen when I get on camera, even, well, or behind the camera in this case. But, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get rid of the hiccups while I'm trying to talk to you, yeah? So anyway, there will be a door window, of course, going in here. And the two front windows and the grill will need to be cut out. And then I will do a grill insert, which will attach to that grill surround and or rad support. And the left door is being used to hold the right door in place because there will be a rocker panel, of course, on the bottom of the cab. And a little fit and finish to go on yet here uh, before before the cab is complete. But, you know, these little things happen. Got a little bit of uh, welding to do in the corners here. Oh, there goes our door. A little bit of welding to do in the corners here. Do some fix-up around here to make this as round as we want it at the back of the cab. Fix up this corner where this weld is kind of snotty and ugly looking, but like they always say, a grinder and some paint can make an ugly weld what it ain't. And that does mean that it can make it pretty, yeah? So, got the back of the cab done, which I will show you in just a second here once I uh, take the mock-up down. Actually, I might be able to sneak it out of here without making too much of a racket. So, the back of the cab is now done. And again, just a little grinding, a little cleaning up on there. So, this is Moose, and with her two, two doors here, with the windows just needing cut out, that is probably going to be about her and how she is going to look. Just trying to balance that door in there a little bit for you. So, at least you get an idea of what she's going to look like. Now there's a couple other pieces that are going to have to go in here which y'all won't see uh, that gonna, are going to attach everything. Now the hood at present is being held to the rad support by a couple of magnets underneath and this hood does not attach to that rad support. In reality it was actually a three-piece hood. You had a left side, a right side, this center section, but the center section was only a four or six bolt bolt-on and could lift off to give mechanics access to the diesel motor. So these were never completely and permanently attached to each other, ergo it will not be on this truck either. And that way you will theoretically have access to the motor. Even though it's going to be a mock motor, you will have access to it. Now, not all of them had the visor set up that I have created on this particular model. That's okay. It's my model and, you know, you can dress up your truck however you like in real life. I'm just doing it with my model as well. So I added a visor. We will, of course, be adding cab lights on top the mirrors, the fenders have to come in yet, so we've got to make the front fenders here. And of course, as you may or may not remember, 
this is going to be a five axle rig so two steers and three rear axles one i may make just a tag axle but i'm kind of up in the air whether i'm going to make them three drives or two drives and a tag axle or a drop axle however you want to term it but she will be a five axle truck altogether and ergo two steer axles so next thing will be on this cab is to get making the fenders so i think that's about all that i'm going to get into this video this time until next time i will work the fenders into the next part of the build along with whatever comes next which will be obviously the sleeper which will go on the back and or the wrecker body which goes on the back of it all together so there you have miss moose a 116 scale metal replica of a 70 ton rotating wrecker i am twist you're watching yyc designs custom rc creations so wherever y'all are in the world please have a great weekend and i will see you in the next video all right guys and girls take care bye bye